here we have a 2020 70 plate BMW M340D X Drive. Now we do have the LED headlights as well as the black kidney grills, M Sport styling kit, which includes the front splitter and also the side skirt extensions. Now we do have four superb 19 inch alloy wheels in gloss black with the M Sport brake clappers just hiding behind. Now we do have the black window trim as well as privacy glass on the rear there as well. Now we do have shark fin antenna as well as the rear spoiler lip. Front and rear parking sensors with rear reversing camera. And we also have dual exit exhaust which is flush with a rear bumper and also the rear diffuser. Now we do also have the X-Drive and M340D badging on the back there as well. Now this vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches and rear does look superb from every angle. Now if we go to the rear of the car I'll be able to show you the interior. Now we do have full leather seats throughout with isofix points pull down lever armors we also have the m stitching in all the seat belts there as well now in the center we do have the vents as well as the climate control there as well now we do have the integrated time kind speakers with the brush metal trim and ambient lighting and the electric windows there now going to the front there's a look at the driver's full leather front seat which is extremely comfortable and is also heated now again, we do have the M stitching in the front seat belts as well. Now on the doors, we do have your electric windows with electric power forward and mirrors, brushed metal trim with ambient lighting and the integrated Harm Khan speakers. Now jumping inside the car, looking just down there, we do have your auto lights. Jumping in, foot on the brake, we do have your keyless start. Now we do have a multi-function steering wheel with cruise control and speed limiter just on the left-hand side there as well. With those other settings there where you have your voice command, and also your volume and other settings there as well. Now I do have paddle shift if we wish to take the car into manual mode. Now this vehicle has done just over 12,230 miles and is free from any worn lights on the dashboard. Now we do have the digital dash so you can change the stuff that's in front of you so you can have anything that suits your preferences from all those different settings just there. Now when you pop it into different drive modes, it does change colour, so Eco Pro goes blue, Comfort goes orange, and then when you pop it into red, it does change the look very slightly to a more aggressive, racy look. Now going to the centre again, I'll show you the different drive modes where we do have Eco Pro Comfort and also Sport, and we do have Sports Plus and also Individual there as well. Now going home, we can find the satellite navigation and also nav media where we do have DAB radio, Spotify, Bluetooth audio and also screen mirroring and mobile devices. We also have Bluetooth phone connectivity. Now if we go home and go down into apps, you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto just there as well. And then we do also have all these other different settings as well. Pop into reverse, you can see the rear reversing camera with the front and rear parking sensors just there and we also have the park assist as you can see just up there. Now the orange flickering, don't worry, that is just the rolling shutter of the phone. There's nothing wrong with the screen. Now we're coming home off that. And coming down here to the dual zone climate control. Now this works just as you would expect it to. On both sides with the ice cold aircon for hot days like today. And then for cold winter mornings, we do also have the two heated front seats, which again work as you would expect them to. Here we have the BMW individual trim, which does look absolutely superb. Pop that open. We do have the storage there with the two nice size cup holders, USB connectivity and also the 12 volt connectivity. Again, the BMW individual trim continues down here. Now this is what you use to control everything happens on the screen if you're not using the touch screen function. Now we also have those different functions where we have the weather, the date and time and also the news, and then the direction of travel and the values since individual. Then we have the track control on and off with parking sensors on and off, engine stop start, and then you drive mode select, and we also have the adaptive, as you can see, just there. And we have the electric parking brake and auto hold there as well. Soft touch lever armrest, which opens up into a nice bit of storage with the USB-C port just there. And closing that back down, there's a look at the passenger's full leather seat with the extended fly support if you may need it. Now the driver also has that as well. Now we do have the ambient lighting that runs all on the door handles which is a very nice addition to this vehicle. Now this vehicle is available to take away today with free contactless nationwide next day delivery. It's HBI clear, comes with fresh service and we do offer competitive low finance. 
but that's it for, for me so thank you very much for watching Video test drive of this BMW M340D X Drive M Sport. Now, the purpose of this video test drive is to show that the vehicle drives exactly how you would expect it to. As you can see, I'm not going to fight the steering wheel to keep it in a straight line, it is going straight and true and not veering off to the left or to the right hand side. Now, do you have a cruise control and speed limiter on the left hand side of the multi function steering wheel? Now, to activate, so if you push the button in the middle at the bottom and it'll go to the nearest miles an hour. Push up very slightly, or just by one miles an hour, and push up until it can feel a bit, a bit of a click, and then uh, it will just turn the nearest five miles an hour. Now to cancel, simply either press the brake, or tap cancel on the steering wheel, and then it will then cancel. Now we do also have power shift, if you wish to take the car into manual mode. So, a little round I'm going to take a left, and then I'll be able to use the paddle shift. So take it over in the paddle shift now, into the third, fourth, fifth, and then I'm going to simply let go and then the car will then take back over. Now you can also put the gear, gear stick to the left and then it'll go into M and S. M meaning manual and S meaning sport. So when you come into sport, the gear changes last a lot longer in the rev range and it changes a lot quicker. Now we do have some features built into this vehicle. So we have, do have lane assist. So when you start veering off to the left or to the right hand side on the motorway or a straight road, it will then bring you back into the middle of the road safety. Now we do have the big screen in the centre where we do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We also have satellite navigation, DAV radio, Bluetooth media, Bluetooth audio connectivity and when you pop it into reverse you do have your rear reversing camera as well as your front and rear parking sensors. Now we do have the digital dash in front of me which you can change the little dials on the right using the PC there as well. Now we do have full leather seats throughout which are extremely comfortable where you can easily do 2, 3, even 400 miles in this vehicle and still get out feeling fresh. Now here at Ars Car Sales we do offer free contents nationwide next day delivery so wherever you are in the country we can facilitate that. But right now I'm coming up to the industrial state where I'm going to take a right, I'm going to perform an emergency stop and push straight into reverse just to show the brakes work exactly how you'd expect them to. And I'll pop it into reverse so you can see the rear reversing camera work as it would expect it to. So pulling in now, I'm able to do the emergency stop in three, two, one. Hard on to the brakes, straight into reverse, no issues whatsoever. And you can see the rear reversing camera just there. Now back into drive again, no issues whatsoever. Now we do have the um, adaptive chassis and also the performance differential on the rear. So this car is a very capable car. Not 16, around 4.6 seconds and has around 336 horsepower. So it is a very, very capable car and a very, very nice driving car. But if you haven't answered all of your questions and inquiries, join this test drive and walk around video. Please feel free to get in contact with the sales team where they can answer anyone answer questions and also run through some inquiries with you. But that's it from me in this video test drive. Hope to hear from you soon. Cheers.